All right, this is your controller for the plow. Uh, with a key on or running, it will operate. On top of the switch, or the controller is an on-off switch. Flip it to on, and it's ready to go. You'll notice the green light means it's, it's good to go. Uh, pretty simple instructions on how to use it. You've got your up-down switch. Up. And then down. When you're plowing, after lowering it, you want to hit it down twice. This will allow the plow to float as it goes across the surface so that it won't dig in. Um, if you happen to get into some ice or something and you need that down pressure, then switch it back to the green and then press down. Um, and then it'll have some pressure to it to bust up some ice if you need, need it to. Um, also, the plow will uh, V forward. So you can hit, you can actually hit both at the same time if you want. And it'll V the, the blade forward, which will allow you to scoop snow. Uh, if you want to V it backwards, you can hit both of them down at the same time and it pushes it back. Uh, if you want to angle the blade, you just push one forward and that allows the blade to angle forward or vice versa if you want to switch it. I just want to show you some of the functions of the plow. It's in the downward position with the blade back towards the truck. Uh, if you raise it up all the way, you'll notice that the edge of the blade, there's not a whole lot of distance between the ground and the bottom of the blade, so be cautious when traveling at highway speeds and bouncing. Um, if you want, you can scoop snow. And then uh, go ahead and lower it down. Okay. Um, this will allow you to scoop snow. Once you have a windrow or two, you need to move around. Um, go ahead and hit the down button. And right now it's on the ground. Always remember when you're plowing to hit down twice so the light turns red so that it's in float mode. This allows the plow to float with the ground. Only leave it green if you have some stubborn ice or something you're really trying to scrape off. That will allow some down pressure to occur. If you want, raise it up just a little bit. Okay. You can also angle the blade. Raise it up a little bit more. Hope. Angle it some more. There you go. This allows to make windrows. You can angle it both directions. Um, or you can make a straight blade so that it's straight out in front of you. And you can push snow in that manner as well. So there's all kinds of configurations. You can adjust it to your needs. Uh, the main thing is just be careful and know your surroundings so you don't hit curbs and uh, manhole covers and things of that nature. One of the most important things to also remember is anytime you park the truck, lower the blade to the ground so it takes the weight off the front axle and lets the, the suspension relax.